Hey guys, last tutorial uh, on how to make a Nazi zombie game on Scratch. We covered pretty much the basics. The moving of the character, the zombie following you, and being able to aim and shoot. And uh, in this tutorial I'll show you um, the uh, how to uh, add health into the game and how to make your character and the zombie both die so before we get started I would like to make a small change to the uh, the script over here this is personally my what I want to do if you guys do not want to do this it is completely optional you do not have to do it but I feel more comfortable playing the game this way uh, so I'm gonna go ahead I'm just going to switch it with up arrow is W, down arrow is S, right arrow is A, and then left arrow will be, well actually it is A, my bad, and then uh, to the right it is actually D. My, uh, my bad, sorry for the mix up. And then, so go ahead and get rid of this, and then slide point towards, just slide it in between that if and the forever the point toward should not be an if statement it should be in the forever outside of all the if statements by itself now that's done we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fix everything on the zombie first because that seems to be the easiest to do so let's go ahead and get started now we're going to make a variable first and this variable will be for this uh, for this uh, sprite only so it's only going to interact with the zombie and we're going to call it hit and then we go over to here and we're going to pull out three if statements and we're going to go to sensing and pull out two color go ahead and slide this one the first one in there and set these two aside and this aside as well so it doesn't distract us so right here click on uh, touching color and you want to click it and then this thing will pop up take this actually you want to take the player and drag it over to where you expose the shell and you just want to get the color of the shell so that way the zombie will react to that same with this one up here there we go and then go ahead and, and uh, we're going to go to costumes and we're going to copy the zombie twice so we have three copies of the zombie and we're going to edit the second one this is where we're going to add to represent the zombies actually getting hit with a bullet and taking damage and the best way to do that is to make the zombie look red I would assume and so I'm going to color his skin a, uh, a dark orange and his shirt is going to be a slightly dark red. Press OK. Switch it back to this. And then I'm going to have it to where to where the um, to where the variable when the when the game first starts that hit will be equal to zero because we always want to reset when the game starts and then so if it is touching these uh... this particular color or the bullet for instance it will add a uh... add one point to hit so it will change it by one which means it will just add one and then all i'm going to also look go to looks and it's going to switch to costume two gonna go to the control and we're going to pull out wait one second and then we're going to change the one second to point one so that's what it should look like and then we take this other if statement bring it down over to here go to operators and we're going to pull out not and so if it if, if, it, if the zombie if it is not touching the shell this is what will happen 
And what will happen is it will just go back to costume one. And that's all for that one. And then with this one right here will be for hit. So go to hit, drag that out. Go to operators. And we're going to get this. So if hit, well actually no, if is going to be equals. So if hit equals three, so if the zombie gets hit three times, then we'll have the zombie change to costume three. And it's also going to stop the sp stop the script so we'll make the zombie completely stop and you might be asking yourself why costume 3 when it's the same as costume 1 well let's go ahead and edit that right now go to edit and uh, this is what you have to do this part you have to really just pay attention to because if you don't do it this way then it might not work for you Okay, and so after that's done, now you know how you have the zombie as a certain color. If your zombie looks similar to mine and is the same color tone, which is the dark green, you're going to want to change it to a different shade or a different value of green. So I'm going to make the, uh, the skin tone of the zombie a little bit lighter. So I'll have his head and the zombie will be laying down because he has just died. And I'll have the, the body right here. This is actually a very poorly constructed body but I don't want to spend all day on it. Alright, there we are. And then we just take the head and we just slap it on there and then press ok and then there's our dead zombie and if you want you can go ahead and add some blood on there there we go so go back to here so it will change to that and then it will stop so if we go ahead and if we run this real quick, the zombie's coming after us. I fire once, you see it got hit. Fire a second time, he got hit again. And finally for the final blow, bam, he gets hit again, he dies. And when I go over to him, he's uh, the color has changed, so when I add the script to the player one, it will not damage me. Because you'll see that in a second. Okay, now that's done, let's go over and let's finish up on player one. Now, we got everything here. Let's go ahead and we're going to actually make a variable. This variable is going to be for all sprites, not just this one. And we're going to call it, we'll call it health. Press OK go to control and you want to pull out like you did with the zombie three if statements and it's actually fairly similar to the zombie so I'm just gonna go ahead and fix everything up so basically just like this and then this is the part where I told you it would actually come in handy in why we kept the zombie a different shade of color from when he is alive and from when he is dead. So now that the zombie is a dark green, we take that dark green and we just add it in there. So when the zombie dies, he is a light green. So when the character touches it, you do not take damage from a dead zombie. Okay. Now we just do basically what we do with the zombie. We first go to variables, take set health to zero, 
put that right in between when flag is clicked and the forever and change health by one and put it right there now after that's done we're gonna go to uh, looks costume so if he is touching that the costume will be right we need to make the costumes now we need to save the zombie do it three times edit the second one uh, shirt going to be dark red skin's going to be and yeah dark orange press ok and then we're gonna go ahead and we're just going to do costume 3 erase skin first do head then do the rest of the body oh god this is terrible it's like a balloon animal And just slap his head on there. Press OK. And you got a dead character. Costume 2. Change that to costume 2. So, and if he is not touching that, then we want it to be costume 1. Go ahead and change this to costume 1. And go ahead and just place it in the beginning, right above the, health, the set health to 0. Now we're going to go down to right here to this very last one and we're going to go to operators and you want to pull out this and you want to pull out health and put in 5. So if health is larger than 5 so you might have learned this in math class that when the alligator eats the larger number and then leaves the smaller number so when health becomes the larger number the character will die and so and if that does happen it will change to costume 3 and it will also stop the script And then we're going to make one more sprite. This will be a nice red. Go ahead and zoom all the way out. Go to the line. Pick the, uh, the first one on the large scale. And do about three strokes. Press OK. This is going to be the... Um, a uh, hit mark so this is what's going to look like when the zombie hits you and then the script for this is fairly simple but before we actually start on the script here we need to go to player and we need to create something called a board cast all this will do is just it'll just send a message over to the hit mark telling it what to do next when to actually start doing the next thing so where you want to pick broadcast and wait so take broadcast and wait slide it in here and click on new and we're going to call this hit press ok go over to here and you want to pull out when the flag is clicked looks uh, we want it to hide at the very beginning that's all that we're going to do for that. Then we're going to go over to when I receive. It already has hit in there. So when I receive hit, we want it to show. We also want it to we want to we want the effect. So show 
ghost effect to zero and then you want to go to control and you want to pull out a repeat ten times go back to look and pull out change ghost sorry change ghost change ghost by ten and what this will do is it will go to 100 and it will just equal itself out and so after that's done everything's looking pretty good I think we're pretty much done let's go ahead and full screen it and let's test it out so here I shoot the zombie three times zombie dies go over to the zombie not taking any damage looking pretty good press the fire again go over I get hit a whole about six times I die and that's it that's pretty much the end of part one or I mean sorry part two so if you enjoyed this and want to see more go ahead and subscribe and I'll try to get the rest of the uh, of the uh, tutorial finished in, uh, in some later videos. Thanks for watching.